Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter. Today we're going to use these plain craft gable boxes from our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them at www.papermart.com to make these really cute custom decorated boxes. Let's go to the table and I'll show you how. As you can see, I've decorated one of the sides of the boxes already. Here's how they come in a Ziploc bag. Uh, you can get a pack of 10 for $4.19, or if you want to save more and you need more, you can get a package of 100 for about 32 bucks. Uh, this is really easy to decorate because it does come flat. It just pops up to assemble to, so it's very simple. You want to slide a piece of scrap paper, such as newspaper or construction paper, whatever you have, on the inside of the box. That way you can paint it without gluing the box shut. I'm using several different acrylic craft paints here. I've got some teal, I've got some yellow, some green, and some pink. Anytime I want to break up the color, I can use a little white. Make sure to let some of that craft paper poke through because it looks really nice. Now this paper takes paint beautifully. I am specifically trying not to get too much paint on my box because I want to kind of get that grungy, um, kind of art journal look to it. When you're happy with your placement of paint, just let it dry before you begin your next step. We're going to be using some scrapbook paper to embellish, and I'm using this pretty floral that's about 100 years old, just kidding, from my stash, but you could even cut little uh, circles out of any scrap paper that you have if you want to make some cute little lollipop flowers. After roughly cutting out some of the flower designs from my paper, I just started playing with the placement. Now I let my box have plenty of time to dry so that um, they wouldn't stick down into the wet paint. I found that some flowers were a little too big, so I just cut them smaller. Now a lollipop flower is just any sort of kind of lopsided, even, uneven cut circle that you want to uh, use as a flower head. It's very forgiving and it gives it a very primitive, charming look, I think. When you're happy with the placement of your flowers, you just want to decoupage them to the box. What you want to do is add some Mod Podge to the box and to the back of the flower so that you don't get wrinkles when you stick them down. I'm using Satin Mod Podge because if I used Glossy, it would show up. The Satin Mod Podge will be about the same shininess as the acrylic paint, so I won't need to coat over the entire box with Mod Podge. You want to repeat this step with every flower. Now you can start to add some accents with paint to your little flowers. You don't have to wait for the Mod Podge to dry for this step. I'm simply painting in little stems and leaves with a combination of white, yellow, and green acrylic paint. Be really carefree with this. There are no rules. You don't have to be a painter to do this. Just have fun. After you're done with the green, you'll want to take a skinny liner brush and outline your stems and leaves and also some of the elements in the flowers. That'll really make them pop because right now your paper and or at least the paper I chose and my backgrounds are all kind of the same value. This is really going to make them stand out. Now you can add some extra details by using a cosmetic sponge to apply black paint to a large rubber stamp. You want a design that's really bold for this technique. Simply press the uh, swirl or texture stamp along the edge of your box for a little added dimension. After all the paint is dry, you are ready to assemble the box. All you need to do is kind of squeeze the edges and you can see here that the bottom kind of magically pops together. Just simply give it a little push from the inside and you'll see the little tabs lock into place. Then simply fold in the sides, making sure to fold on all your score lines to make it easy to close and open. Push those two sides together and then just push those tabs on the edges into the gable end slots and there you have it. You can dress it up with a little bit of fun ribbon and twine as well if you like. I decided to finish mine off with a wide organza bow. I want to thank you so much for watching today. Please check out our sponsor, Paper Mart. You can find them online at www.papermart.com where we make you look even better. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.